The Chromecast with Google TV gets a whole lot right, but there are still a handful of things most users would like to see added to the experience. One of the most requested additions would have to be the ability for multiple users to be able to sign in and swap between their accounts at will. In a perfect world, it would look a lot like it does on a Chromebook, allowing signed in users to move seamlessly between accounts and get customized recommendations on Google TV's main home screen. While not the multi-account solution we've been looking for, Google is making steps in the right direction with the new addition of kids accounts on Google TV. So we thought it would be a good time to show you all what it is and how to get it set up and working for your house right now. Before we get into that, we do want to give a big shout out to MediaTek for making our On The Run to 200K giveaway possible. If you didn't know, we're rapidly approaching 200,000 subscribers here on our YouTube channel, and as a celebration of that milestone, we've partnered with MediaTek to give away a bunch of sweet prizes along the way that are all powered by MediaTek. If you want to get entered to win, check the link in the description and claim your entries, and good luck. Okay, so to get this started from your home screen, you need to go over to your main spot up here where you can switch your accounts. You can also just hold the home button down and get to this from wherever you are in the interface. And obviously right up the top, you have switch account. So when you click onto this, the new update to your Chromecast will have add a kid as an option here. And one of the cool parts of all of this is if you already have kids via family link and in your family setup, when you go to click add a kid here, your kids will automatically just show up in this list. But for those of you that have that set up, as soon as you click into that, you'll skip past the account creation part, and that's really cool. But I know a lot of you all probably don't use Family Link or don't have kids set up, and you just wanna set this stuff up so that you can have some control over what your kids watch and how often they can be on here and all the curated content and all that kind of stuff. And so the good news is Google has made it very simple to set all of this up right here locally on the Chromecast. The kids don't have to have a Google account. They don't have to have a username, password, all that kind of stuff. You can set it up and it's local here and still able to be seen and managed on the Family Link account uh, and in the Family Link app on your Android or iOS smartphone. So we're gonna click get started here. As you can see, we were testing this out with our Chrome Unbox account uh, because I do have uh, as many people as I can have in my family account, which is up to six total people in your Google account family. These new additions that you add here, whether you make a Google account for them or not, will count towards that six. I couldn't add any more, so I got some friends and all that kind of stuff in there. So we went the Chrome Unboxed route again so I could sign up a kid that doesn't have a Google account and you can see since there's all these sloths around we named our kid slothy but for the record we're gonna add another kid here so that you can kind of see this entire process you get these nice little animations along the way it's a very kid friendly look here of course see look it makes you want to make another one I'm like I'm, I want to name it slothy too because sloths are awesome uh, what do we want to call this one we're gonna call this one um, little Timmy how about Timmy so I'm gonna go here. Again, if you have a keyboard connected here, you can just use your keyboard if you'd like. Enter Timmy's age. Let's say Timmy, Timmy's eight. There we go. And it's basically gonna tell you about your child's profile um, that you can use family link for supervision and privacy that you, know, you normally would see on any kind of Google account. Uh, Obviously, if you're super concerned about these types of things, you're gonna to wanna to click through and read those types of things. I'm gonna go ahead and click agree there. And then it's gonna ask if you can send a verification code to your Android device. This is the phone numbers that would be uh, attached to your Google account. And I'm gonna hit send here. So I've entered my code I got in the text message and now it's creating this profile. Again, I didn't have to create a Google account for this imaginary child. Uh, it's gonna just create an account that I can manage again in the Family Link app and via the Chromecast once this is all finished. And I love the fact that Google did this. Uh, I like that they're getting the idea here that you, most parents don't want their kids to have Google accounts or any accounts of it, that sort. They just want them to be able to uh, have some managed content. And so it takes you right into the next step. Again, all the things that we set up in this video during the setup process, I'll show you at the end, you can actually access later in the settings of your Chromecast. You don't need to go off the Chromecast at all to actually get in and manipulate all these settings and apps and all that kind of stuff. You will, if you want to see uh, stats on how your kids are using these different apps, you will need the Family Link app at that point. You log in with your Google account and you'll just see this account that you've created. It's kind of slick. Um, but 
for the get-go, uh, they, they throw a handful up here that you can you know uh, throw into your kid's account. If you install more apps onto your Chromecast and then decide, I want that application available for the kid's account, you, I'll show you again here in a second where you can go and do that. I'm just gonna choose YouTube Kids for now um, and ESPN. Yeah, we're gonna allow ESPN. We're gonna hit install and continue. So those applications are now available uh, in addition to the basic applications that would be available. So now we get to the spot where we start to uh, choose what our kids can and cannot do. So screen time, you can go in here and set daily limits or set uh, bedtime schedule. You can go in and turn your profile lock on. I'm not gonna do that for this because I don't want to have to keep doing this for the video. Uh, but if you turn this on, anytime you attempt to leave this profile, you'll have to put in the main password for the Google account. And what this does is basically give you security that if your kid is using the Chromecast and you're away from it, they're not gonna be able to swap over to your account and get into all of your stuff. They can't get into your account unless they have your password or your PIN. And so it's very, very handy to have this there because once they get into their account, they can't get back out without your permission. Next up is family library. And basically this is saying, hey, I'm gonna allow stuff in my family library that I've purchased and that's available via family library. Uh, you can set some limits here on movies. So uh, if I say, yeah, I wanna, I'm cool with PG-13 for my kids, I can select that. And that way anything PG-13 and down in my family library will show up for them. Same thing with TV, you can set those ratings. Um, you can change the default theme, which we're gonna go with some space travel and YouTube Kids, you go through the setup. If you've ever set up YouTube Kids, um, for your children on their phone. It's the same thing. It's gonna walk you through basically uh, choosing the, the types of content that you're cool with them having. Uh, it's actually really quick to go through this. Um, you set their age. So we said Timmy was eight. Cool deal. Uh, search on or search off. I'm gonna let Timmy search for stuff. It's cool. And then click done and boom, YouTube TV is ready to go. And then there's just learn more about, you know, some tips on parental tools, how to get to their settings up in the top left. So it's not in the top right like it is on yours, it's in the top left. Um, and that's honestly about it with screen time and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna finish up the setup and it's gonna take us to the home screen so that we can see all the things that we just said Timmy's allowed to have, we're gonna see appear here. So there's your YouTube kids, there's your ESPN, there's some stuff customized content, again, that's geared towards your kids and the more that they use the apps that you've allowed and you've said they can have, they're gonna see more custom content here on their uh, YouTube or Google TV account. And that's kind of the point of all this. And like I said in the intro, this isn't a full-blown solution for uh, multiple accounts, but for a lot of people, this is what they wanted. They wanted their kids to have certain accounts and they didn't want their kids watching uh, stuff that, that they have in their library. And they, you really don't want your entire uh, customized Google TV home screen to have a bunch of kids programs on it if that's all they watch. You kind of want to see those customizations for you. It's why people want multiple accounts on Google TV so that I can sign in, sign in, my wife can sign in, and the customized stuff will be different for each of our profiles. This is a step in the right direction for that. And it's it's kind of cool to see Google doing this and making this so simple to set up. And when you're ready to get out, you click switch profile. Again, if you have the profile lock here, I can go, if I hit Chrome here, it would actually force a password and wouldn't let them get out of that account without it. But boom, I'm right back into my, uh, my home screen. And again, as I said uh, in the middle of this video here, under settings, if I go down to accounts and sign in and go back over to Timmy, and you have to do my pin here, which this I like the way that they put in pins here because you can't really see it. It's pretty cool. Um, so I can turn my profile lock, manage my apps. So you see over here, these are the apps that are on my Chromecast. I can just check them if I want them to be available. Boom, yeah, I'll allow that. And now Timmy would have that in his profile. I can change my screen time, the family library stuff. I can see my tips and I can remove the account all right here. And honestly, this all feels like Again, I've said this multiple times, a step in the right direction towards getting this type of account switching for general users, not just kids and adults. But this is a really, really big step in the right direction because this allows all of your kids stuff to stay in their account and all of your stuff to stay in your account and keep those things separate. And it's just gonna make for a better overall experience for both 
parents and their kids. And I can't wait for Google to just add multiple accounts so each individual parent or each individual adult in any given house or setting can have the ability to switch between their profiles and get their custom stuff, their recommendations on the home screen that match up to what it is that they watch, not what everyone in the house watches. But guys, hopefully this has been helpful to you. Hopefully you can take this and go uh, implement some child accounts on your Chromecast and enjoy this awesome streaming dongle just a little bit more. But if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button. Make sure and click the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. And until next time, we'll see you.